Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's take a look and see what happens to time or the passage of time for a person who travels fast and faster and faster with speeds ever getting closer and closer to the speed of light. Well, let's see what happens when a person travels at 0.99c, the speed of light, and we've already seen that the Lorentz factor then becomes equal to 7, which means that the time as seen on Earth will be 7 times as long as the time as seen by a person traveling on a spaceship traveling at 0.99c. In other words, the passage of time for observer B is much slower than the passage of time for observer A on the Earth left behind. Now what that means is that for every 7 seconds passing on the Earth, only 1 second passes on the spaceship, which means that the spaceship can travel much greater distances in a much shorter time. So here, let's carry this a little bit further. What happens if the spaceship now speeds up to 0.995c, 99.5% of the speed of light? The lens factor now becomes 10. So for every second passing on the Earth, observer B only experiences a tenth of a second. Speed up even more to 99.9% .9 of the speed of light. Now the Lorentz factor is 22.4, and the amount of time passed for observer B for every one second on the Earth is now less than 0.05 seconds. Go even faster than that, 99.99% of .99 the speed of light. The Lorentz factor is now 70.7, .7, and the time experienced for every one second on the Earth is only 0.014 seconds. Then if we speed up to this speed, 9, or I should say 6 nines past the decimal place, the Lorentz factor is now 707, and the time is now just barely over one millisecond for every one second experienced on the Earth. What would happen if the speed now reaches this close to the speed of light? You can imagine then as time passes on the Earth, a very small amount of time will pass on the spaceship. And then ultimately, what would happen to time if the spaceship could actually speed up to the speed of light? Now, we know that's not possible, and we'll learn later why that is the case, but let's for a moment assume that we could. We could actually get the spaceship to move at the speed of light. What would happen to time? Well, then the time would essentially stand still. In other words, for every one second passing on the Earth, zero, and absolutely zero seconds would pass on the spaceship. Which means, as time progresses here on the Earth, and the spaceship is traveling at the speed of light, the clock on the spaceship would simply stop. And the spaceship could travel and travel and travel, could essentially travel across the entire universe, and no time would pass on the spaceship as time would continue to pass, and billions and billions of years would pass as the spaceship travels across the universe. And that's kind of interesting. So if you think about it, you could be in a spaceship, You'd be motionless as far as time is concerned. Time would not proceed, and you would just travel through space at the speed of light continuously and reach the other side of the universe, and no time would have passed, even though billions and billions of years would have passed in the universe itself. That's kind of interesting. So what would you see in that case? What would it be like? So we'll touch upon that. But that's essentially what would happen to time. Time would stand still, and you could essentially travel anywhere in the universe in zero time. So time is very relative to how fast you travel through the universe. And it kind of puts a new perspective on the concept of time. What is time? Well, time depends upon how fast you travel through space. And that's the way it is.